Yeah, I think affirmations can do it, mm, but it's not the strongest way because what's in the roots of your mind will always manifest. And that's the big problem. When people talk about wanting to reprogram the subconscious mind and they're using these uh, different tools and techniques, I think a lot of people are missing the point because how I would look at it is there's, there's three layers to the whole equation. The first layer being the removing, the second layer being the uh, planting, and the third layer being the sustainability. So let's say you have um, a lot of disempowering beliefs that are creating certain blockages or obstacles in your uh, manifestation, right? They are deeply ingrained mostly from your zero to seven years old during the theta brainwave stage. Now, for you to listen to a 12 minute affirmations meditation and wanting those 12 minutes to be the equivalent of the seven years you were uh, programmed with and for it to change like that is highly, highly unlikely. I'm not saying it's not useful. What, what, what I'm saying is that is the planting but before you plant the new grass uh, on the land, don't you first need to get rid of the weeds? Actually, it's quite simple because um, that's why a lot of NLP practitioners, they speak about things like cognitive reframing or certain people talk about things like timeline therapy or certain timeline meditations even. What, what it's uh, in the most effective way, what it's doing is it's replacing the emotional attachment to the particular situation. So let's take, for example, our memory, uh, which is stored in the, uh, in the hippocampus uh, part of the brain. And it's only stored there because there's two parts, the hippocampus and the amygdala. And it, in the amygdala, the, it uh, recognizes emotion, pain and pleasure. So that's why I always say to people, when people say they've got bad memory, I say, no, you don't. You remember things from childhood. But what do they remember? They remember the things they were extremely excited about and the things that they were really sad about or upset or angry about. The reason being is because what's programmed in our mind we need to understand how it got there in the first place, right? Was programmed through emotions. Yeah, I think you, you could say that. I mean, I, I would personally call it like emotional uh, uh, decoupling, right? It's uh, getting rid of any bad experiences you may have had uh, towards the word money or towards the word love, maybe because it got emotional through growing up watching your parents or, or something like that. And therefore, you know, 20 years down the line, you're still manifesting wrong relationships in your life because of that. So if we could go back and we could get rid of the trauma or negative emotion towards that situation, um, then uh, we've set the mind free, we, we, we've cleared the mind, we've cleansed the mind. Yeah, so the second layer is what I would refer to as planting. Now your mind is clear, it's time to plant and take the new downloads on, right? It's like the 
the new programming. Um, so for sure, I'd use affirmations for that. You know, if you affirm it every single day and you get more affirmations, see it all around you every day, then it's going to log in the brain. And, and make sure when you do the affirmations, again, um, it's emotional. You feel it in every cell of your body because that's how memory works. Yeah, the, the reason why I said there was the third layer of sustainability is because like, if you can change it one way, you can change it back, right? We've all seen habits switch from one to another before um, and, and people can go back to bad habits. But I feel that the sustainability part has to do uh, a lot with environment. You know, that's why there's a saying that says your network is your net worth or we like to say your tribe equals your vibe. So I feel if people could find um, like-minded individuals who, who are striving towards similar goals and they surround themselves with that type of environment every single day, then that's almost like the uh, making the affirmations more concrete. It's like solidifying it. It's like sealing the deal. And... Um, when you have that surrounding, everything becomes effortless because you don't need to consciously think about your manifestations, but you're manifesting everything unconsciously.